Good morning, everyone. I wanted to um, record the next chapter of Danny Bundy and the Search for the Butterfly. We are on chapter 11. Danny looked over. There it was. The beautiful butterfly was sitting on his shoulder, staring right at him. It slowly opened and closed its wings in a thankful kind of way. Thank you, it said. Its voice was so small. Thank you for wishing our meeting. It fluttered off Danny's shoulder and settled into his open palms. Have you ever held a butterfly? Isn't it so cool? You know what else is cool? Last night on my fence, you'll never guess what I saw. A luna moth. A luna moth on my fence. I was so excited. These creatures are so special. Danny, careful of the butterfly's fragile wings, brought the butterfly up to his face. He stared, you are the most beautiful I've ever seen. The most beautiful butterfly I've ever seen. Thank you. I can certainly say you are the most beautiful sight I have ever seen. Danny walked away from the group to study his new friend. Fanastasia flew away from him to join Bernie and Lady Sue. I'm glad you called for me, Bernardo, she said. It's been some time since I've seen you. How are things at the brook? Bernie's eyes were full of adoration. Sometimes days are good and sometimes not so good. It's hard to tell what humans will do when they come to visit. I've lost a lot of friends, Fanastasia, but I'm hopeful that more kids like Danny will turn things around. Yes, things were bad for a while, Lady Sue agreed, but they've stopped cutting trees around here, so maybe there's a better future for us and our children. Fanastasia smiled at them both. I am glad times seem to be more good than bad. She looked back at Danny. Somehow I know this young man will play a big part in turning things around for good. Bernie and Lady Sue looked at Danny too. He lifted his hand and watched the butterfly fly, fly away high into the trees. With the wind behind it, it soon drifted out of sight. Fanastasia told everyone farewell. You must go home now, Danny, she said. The sun will soon be setting and your day with us will be over. But remember this. The mysteries of the forest are here for you to forever discover and bless with your best intentions. You have made a difference already. Safe journeys for you. With these words, Fanastasia blinked at them all. Then she vanished into thin air. And that's the end of chapter 11. And we'll read chapter 12 tomorrow. See everyone soon. Bye.